What is the best calligraphy pen for beginners? That's probably one of the most common questions I constantly get. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my best picks for beginners. So if you're looking to get started with calligraphy or you're simply looking for a pen recommendation, be sure to stick around. Before I start listing a bunch of calligraphy pens randomly, let me explain why the best calligraphy pen may be different depending on who you ask. Imagine someone asking you, what is the best instrument for music? You would probably wonder, well, what type of music are we talking about exactly? The same thing goes for calligraphy. Think of calligraphy as an umbrella term with a whole bunch of different scripts, aka styles, sitting underneath. A common mistake I see people making is that they first pick a cool, fancy looking pen and then they start thinking about what calligraphy style it is that they want to learn. But what if the pen that you picked isn't really suitable for the style that you want to learn and practice? That's why I recommend to reverse the process. First, determine what sort of calligraphy script, aka style you want to learn and practice, and then based on that choice, you can pick your calligraphy pen. Although there are hundreds of different calligraphy scripts that you could learn, most of them could be created using the same tools. In fact, to make it easier for you, I've divided the selection into three main calligraphy pen categories. First off, we have the broad edge calligraphy pens, then we have pointed nib calligraphy pens, and finally we have brush pens. With that in mind, let's have a closer look at each of these categories. In this section, I'll briefly go over the three main pen categories that I mentioned, and I'll give you my best recommendation for beginners, along with a few alternatives. All the links to everything that I mentioned in this video will be placed in the description box below. If you want a better overview of the different calligraphy scripts, aka styles, I recommend checking out the Calligrapher Bibles book by David Harris. This book features a hundred different calligraphy scripts and a brief sum up on how to do them. It's not the most in-depth instructional book out there, but I think it's a good starting point for beginners. Let's begin with our first calligraphy pen category, which is the broad edge calligraphy pens. This is the largest calligraphy pen category, meaning that with a broad edge pen, you'll be able to learn a whole bunch of different calligraphy scripts. Some of the most popular styles created using a broad edge calligraphy pen are black letter, also known as Gothic calligraphy, Italic calligraphy, Anshal calligraphy, the foundational hand, Roman capitals, and so much more. My recommendation for beginners here is the Pilot Parallel Pen. The Parallel Pen is probably one of the most popular tools amongst calligraphers, and for a good reason. It's cheap, easy to use, and super durable. In fact, I've been using the same one for the past 5 years, and it still works perfectly. The Parallel Pen is a fountain pen that uses ink cartridges. It provides a constant ink flow to its flat nib. This means that you don't have to dip your pen into ink or anything similar. Instead, you just put the ink cartridge inside and you're ready to roll. The parallel pen comes in 6 sizes, ranging from 1.5mm wide nibs all the way to 6mm. My recommendation is that you don't get anything under 3.8mm. I think that a larger size nib is more suitable for beginners. The ink for the parallel pen comes in 12 different colors, giving you a solid, but not too wide of a choice. The only downside I can think of is maybe the ink flow. Unfortunately, the parallel pen cannot work with any type of paper, as it's prone to bleeding and feathering. The papers I recommend using the Pilot Parallel Pen are linked in the description box below. All in all, I couldn't recommend the parallel pen enough. I use it constantly and I truly enjoy working with it. Aside from the parallel pen, here are a few pen alternatives that you can use for broad edge calligraphy styles. First off are broad edge markers. These are solid felt tip markers that are even easier to use than the parallel pen. You just pop the cap and you're ready to go. No preparations, no maintaining and they can work with a broader range of paper types. I place them as an alternative because, in my opinion, it's more satisfying to write with the parallel pen. However, they are great for beginners and you can just focus on learning the basics of a calligraphy script. I still use broad edge markers from time to time and I enjoy working with them. The ones I recommend are the Kuretake Z Calligraphy, the Z Calligraphy 2, the Sakura Pigma Calligrapher and the Speedball Elegant Writer. Whichever you end up taking, I would just recommend that you avoid getting the chisel tip markers like this one. They're not really suitable for calligraphy and especially for beginners. The next alternative is Broad Edge Dip Pens. Broad Edge Dip Pens are the best tools for professional calligraphy, period, aside from quills. They're able to create strokes and hairlines like no other tool. In my opinion, Dip Pens are not really suitable for beginners for a couple of reasons. First, you need to prepare the nibs. Assemble them onto the pen staff, find the right paper and ink combination, clean and maintain these nibs and more. Combine that with all the other information that you need to learn about the other tools, details about the scripts, etc. It can quickly become overwhelming. Don't get me wrong, it's not really rocket science, but it definitely has a bit of a learning curve. 
nonetheless I realize that some of you might want to try them out and if that's the case here are two sets I suggest you start with. First is the Speedball C style lettering set which includes a nib holder and six C style nibs in different sizes or the manuscript calligraphy round hand box set which includes a wooden straight holder and 10 nibs in different sizes. Of course there are a bunch of different nibs out there and with time you can easily expand your collection. Once you have the nib holder you simply swap the nibs. Along with this set you will also need some ink. For that I would recommend a bottle of black sumi ink which offers excellent value for the price. As for the paper recommendation again I left them in the description box below. Next up we have the pointed nib calligraphy pen category. Pointed nib calligraphy styles have become extremely popular and I would even dare to say that it's the group of styles preferred by the majority of beginners today. Smooth, flowy and elegant lines are just some of the features that attract newcomers to these calligraphy styles. Some of the most famous styles you can create with a pointed nib are copper plate, Spencerian, modern alternations, Roman capitals and minuscules and more. My recommendation for beginners is actually a regular pencil or a smaller size brush pen. Let me explain. A dip pen with a pointed nib is the ultimate tool for these styles, there is no doubt about it. However, it would be foolish not to take in consideration the learning curve behind this tool. The argument is exactly the same as the one I made for broad edge dip pens. You already have your hands full with learning the basics of a script and adding to that a tool that comes in multiple pieces that requires preparations and maintenance can quickly become overwhelming. That's why starting with a pencil or a smaller size brush pen is a more suitable choice for a beginner. I just think that you'll have a more pleasant learning experience, that's it. Let me start with the pencil. The pencil is cheap, it's durable and it's incredibly versatile. Best of all, you will probably have a pencil lying around your house somewhere. The pencil works on a principle of pressure. The more pressure you add, the thicker the line is and vice versa. The pencil I recommend getting is one with a softer lead, anywhere from a 2B all the way to a 6B is gonna be fine. They are soft enough for you to see the difference between the thick and thins without having to add a whole bunch of pressure. An alternative to the pencil would be a smaller size brush pen. Just like with the pencil, a smaller size brush pen creates thick and thin lines based on the amount of pressure you add as you write. This allows you to get a similar look that you would achieve with a traditional pointed nib. The two smaller size brush pens I would recommend are the Tombow Furunosuke, both the hard and soft tip, and the Pentel Furu touch pen. As for the paper recommendation, once again, all of them are gonna be in the description box below. Next are dip pens with pointed nibs. Again, although I don't think a beginner should start with this tool, I understand that some of you would like to do so. The first thing to consider is the nib holder. We have two types of nib holders, the straight holder and the oblique holder. The main difference is that the oblique holder has a flange sticking on its side that makes it easier to write at certain angles. So if you're interested in getting started with pointed nib calligraphy, here's my recommendation. The Moblik 2-in-1 nib holder, the Nico G nib and Sum Ink. The Moblik nib holder is a fantastic 2-in-1 nib holder. It's an oblique holder, but you can easily take off the flange and transform it into a straight holder. On top of that, you can untwist the body, which will reveal a hidden compartment where you can store an extra nib, which I think is pretty cool. It comes in different colors and it just feels great to write with. I love it and I use it for my broad edge nibs as well. As for the nib, the Nico G nib is one of the most popular ones and I think it's a great starting point. Again, there are a whole bunch of different nibs out there and with time you can easily expand your collection. As for the Sumi ink, as mentioned earlier, it offers excellent value for the price. This holder, nib and ink combination might be slightly more expensive but I really do think it's worth it, especially considering that you won't have to get two separate nib holders. In case you want something more affordable that includes all the needed parts, Manuscript has you covered. I've linked two beginner sets in the description box below. As for the paper recommendation for this tool, I left a couple of links in the description below. The last category I wanted to cover in this video is brush pens. The reason for including brush pens as a separate category here is because brush lettering, aka brush calligraphy, has become extremely popular in recent years. There are so many different brush pens available on the market today and they all differ from each other. They differ in aspects such as size, nib flexibility, ink flow, color and more. I made a whole separate video on my top recommendations for brush pens and of course the link is gonna wait for you in the description below. Okay, now that we have a general overview of the best pens to start with, I want to share a few additional tools that you will need to get started with calligraphy. So aside from your pen, you will also need a ruler, a pencil, an eraser and of course paper. Here's a quick overview of each one of them. The ruler. You need a ruler so you can draw calligraphy guidelines. Guidelines are a crucial part for learning and improving your calligraphy. I made a whole separate video on this topic that you can watch and of course the link is in the description below. You can use any ruler you have at hand 
However, the best ruler for creating calligraphy guidelines in my opinion is the rolling ruler. It's like a normal ruler, it just has this rotating cylinder on the backside that allows for rolling on the surface like this. With the rolling ruler, you'll be able to quickly and effectively draw straight parallel lines, which is ideal for guidelines. I use it constantly and I highly recommend it to anyone who practices calligraphy or even lettering. The pencil, the pencil is the most fundamental tool for both calligraphy and hand lettering. We use the pencil mostly to draw calligraphy guidelines, but it can be super helpful for sketching or even practicing calligraphy as I previously mentioned. When it comes to drawing guidelines, I mostly recommend getting a pencil that leaves a light mark that can easily be erased, and that would be an HB pencil. You can either get a regular pencil like this one, or the one that I like to use more which is a mechanical pencil. Either one of them will be fine. Next one is the eraser, and we mostly use it for removing guidelines. Just make sure that when you erase the guidelines, you wait for the ink to be completely dry so you avoid getting any ink smudges. You can pick and use whichever eraser you have at hand. The one I use and recommend is called the kneaded eraser. I like it the most because it leaves no crumbs after you use it. Finally, paper. And paper will depend mostly on the calligraphy tool you have chosen to practice with. Not every paper will work with every writing tool. So make sure to buy the paper according to the pen that you've decided to get, as I mentioned earlier. The different recommendations for papers for the writing tools are all in the description box below. Before wrapping it up, I just wanted to tell you about this mistake that I used to make in the beginning. I used to think that more expensive tools would help me write better and that they would generally improve my skills. But that was simply not the case. So I would encourage you to stick to the basic tools and once you get a good understanding of the basics of calligraphy, you can consider getting better and more expensive tools. Also, if you want to get a calligraphy pen but you're not sure if it's the right thing that you need, feel free to reach out to me via email or social media. I will be happy to help and share my thoughts. Okay, so let's have a quick recap of the whole story. The best calligraphy pen depends on the calligraphy script that you want to practice. First, pick the script and then the calligraphy pen suited for that script. There are three main calligraphy pen categories to consider broad edge, pointed pen, and brush pens. You don't need any expensive calligraphy tools. They won't help you improve your skills. I recommend sticking to the fundamental tools and with time, expand your toolbox. Consider the learning curve of a tool if you're just getting started. Some calligraphy tools need specific types of paper. To get started, you will also need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. Okay, good, now I wanna hear it from you. What is your favorite calligraphy pen? Do you like more broad edge pens or pointed nibs? Or do you prefer brush pens instead? Let me know by dropping a quick comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or even subscribing to my channel to keep up with my future and upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.